Welcome back to the channel everyone, Trent Line Forex here. It is 20th of September, it's Friday. Uh, so that means we're gonna have a look at Bitcoin's chart um, and we're gonna see what kind of opportunities we have. Now, before we proceed with the analysis, it's very important to point out that we had very important news this week, just a couple of days ago. Uh, and I'm talking about Fed's interest rate decision. Now the market expected 0.25% cut, but instead of that, we got 0.5% which I have to be honest for the crypto market is positive news. But why is that? Well, you know, lower interest rate means that people are going to be looking for alternative assets to invest their money in, in order to achieve higher return. And you know, this could be Bitcoin. So if you follow our channel for a while, you already know that we were looking for um, you know, upside continuation of this trend right here. Now, since this is confirmed by the fundamentals as well, it means that we really have a higher probability for a continuation to the upside. Uh, so that also means we could start looking for buying opportunities. Okay. So what we've recently had was this uptrend forming right here, price, you know, breaking above all this major structure to the left. Um, and we're pretty much near the previous major highs right here. So I'm expecting that at some point we should see, you know, some sort of a pullback. Now, once this pullback begins, let's say um, around those current levels, as soon as we start forming a pullback, we're going to move that Fibonacci 2 from the swing low down here up to that swing high. And we're going to be looking for a rejection around the let's say 38.2 level because if I zoom the chart in what you're gonna see is that once we form this move we then form this high right here okay so as soon as we started with this pullback that's when we placed our Fibonacci retracement tool and as you can see we had a perfect retest of the 38.2 level which is right around 57,500 600 level and from then on we've got the next bullish impulse to the upside so i'm expecting that we may have the same set of forming up at a higher levels okay now this is what i'm going to be waiting for i want to see price forming a pullback i'm then going to move my fibonacci retracement to and we could be looking for buying opportunities from let's say the 38.2 level now we can't say which level exactly this is going to be because we still haven't started the pullback but you know it is i believe a confirmed setup fundamentally and technically speaking so you know we may have a, a, a much higher chance of winning uh, such an idea so when you're trading crypto through leverage you know um, on a cfd platform it means that you need to find the best entry opportunity if you're looking to buy right now obviously that doesn't make a lot of sense because we're literally at the highest point in price so we need to find a stop loss level and you know any level that you're looking below current price levels it's quite far it doesn't make any sense we're going to be entering a long trade here place our stop loss anywhere down here so obviously we're not going to have a good risk to reward ratio even though i'm expecting long term price should continue higher so if we look at the daily time frame what am i talking about well this is the previous daily high that we're currently testing okay now once we break above that we then have this next high Okay, right around the 68,000 level. And once we break above that as well, we then have this major resistance right around the 72,000 level. Okay, so obviously it's going to take some time for price to break above all those levels. And if you're going to be staying in the trade, then, you know, um, you will have different kind of expenses. So we really need to find the best entry opportunity. Okay, now this is pretty much what we can look for you know a rejection off of this level a pullback and a higher low where to potentially enter a trade another entry opportunity would be to wait for price to break above this high potentially come back for a retest and again at that point we're going to have a higher low so we can then look to you know buy and continue this move to the upside um, these are pretty much a couple of entry opportunities. I'm definitely looking for setups here on the higher time frames only. Okay. And I think that makes a lot of sense, a lot more sense, uh, at least at the moment. So this is pretty much what my idea is. Like I said, we've got a confirmed analysis by the fundamentals as well. We've also got our technical levels plotted on the chart. So, you know, we have an idea 
and we've got to be patient and we've got to be disciplined to wait for price to complete our analysis and once it gives us the entry signal that when we, that's when we execute the trade right so leave a comment down below and let me know is that a similar setup to yours and do you actually trade crypto if not then you know we've got videos um and weekly updates on euro dollar and gold as well every monday and wednesday so a lot of valuable information make sure to subscribe to this channel right now and don't forget to check out the links below this video we've got a completely free trading course on our website trendlineforex.com it's called free course for beginners check it out um you know once you finish the course once you um, watch all the content within that course you can also hop on a call with us completely for free um, and you know we can talk about uh, a strategy that's going to work for you um, and how you can proceed uh, you know learning how to trade um, to eventually become a successful trader so like i said check out all the links below this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below also join our free telegram channel that's where you're going to get weekly updates on setups like euro dollar um, and other um, uh, instruments as well. I'll see you in the next video and I wish you all the best.